top target for Jake Fromm. Maybe we see him here on third down and six. Fromm, sideline, got a man, it's Cager. As scripted. 32 on the play, Todd. And we just mentioned Cager, and this is what he does. He is a vertical threat. He's a play from the 25 of Mizzou. Here's Fromm trying to set up the screen. Too strong for DeAndre Swift. And a young star in the making, George Pickens. He's George's number one bottom of your screen. Here's Fromm to throw. Coming across the middle, it is Pickens. He flashes some of that star power right away. Touchdown, Georgia. Tremendous talent. Gets downfield. When he gets the ball in his hands, nice job securing it. Reaching up for the touchdown. Puts George up 7-0. Second and five. Here's from Great protection. Put some air underneath it. And Cager couldn't haul that one in. Had it in his hands and could not hang on. Third down. The play. Watch it from behind him. I'm going to freeze it right when he decides to make this throw. He's right there, okay? This ball has to be out here, and it has to be not a bullet, but he has to put air under it for Cager to run under it. You can't throw that any better. Three so far here tonight. Third down and five. Pickens is top of your screen. See if Fromm looks that way again. Coming across the middle. No. Tyler Simmons could not come up with it. To the coverage. And they're looking for somebody outside of Cager to step up. We've seen it from George Pickens already with a touchdown, but they need Simmons to step up. He's the offensive line in Georgia's school history. That's saying something. Third down and three. Protection breaks down. Fromm going to run for it. It's got the first down and more. Takes a shot up high. He'll get a push from behind. And he's in the Missouri territory. To read here from Jake Fromm. Doesn't like it downfield. Nobody's open. He sees a lane. And he's he doesn't get enough credit for this. You know, he's not going to make a whole lot of people miss. He's not going to outrun anybody. But he squad. 21st rush of the season for Fromm. As we approach three minutes left in the first quarter. Here's Fromm. Rolling to his right. A lot of green in front of him. And he'll just throw that one away. Half of Missouri. It's Cager, bottom of your screen. From. Put some air on the deep court. And it is Lawrence Cager with a catch. Gain of 15. First down, Bulldogs. Confidence that Jake Fromm has in Cager. And at any point in time, he's willing and able to just throw this ball up. Look where he throws that ball from. I mean, he's back here off his back foot and just lays it out there the same route he... Get to Athens. Good protection. Now Fromm runs out of time, and it's Cager on the other side. Final minute of play in the quarter. There's Jake Fromm. Underneath the pickings. Down to the 20. He's going to be shy of the marker. Perkins all the way across the field and comes up and makes the tackle. And just an unnecessary hit there from Utzi. He took three steps. Look at the effort there from Macy. They had four. Just outside the 10, so they can get a first down. Fromm, quick throw. It's Cager. Out of the gun from the three. Low snap. Pressure. Fromm. Off the fingertips. On the out route, he's going to come here. Cager's going to clear it out. And he ended up throwing the ball to the tight end. But Swift was the one that was wide open. There's nobody there. I mean, that's that's where the ball's going to go. You don't see Fromm miss many times, but he missed that one. Down and 10. 10-0 10 Georgia, starting from their own 23. Here's Fromm. Under pressure will be dropped. Taken down. Nine. Florida didn't sack him one time a week ago in Jacksonville. Missouri gets to him here. They're going to see Bolton and where they bring the uh, corner. The, when the back picks up the corner, Steve, that frees up the linebacker. Quarterbacks with at least 200 pass attempts. And three of those five now in the season came against South Carolina. And that ugly, ugly loss. Is Lawrence Cager on the receiving end. Well, didn't snap for him, but he was a starting offensive guard in high school. Here's Fromm now to throw. Under pressure again. Nearly taken down. Dumps it off for Swift. And forward progress. It might give him a yard. Georgia off the sudden change. Fromm could not hook up. 
of Kiaris Jackson. Well, and these receivers are having a hard time separating, Todd, from man-to-man -man coverage. Bad snap. Fromm will scoop it up. Back at the 30. Yeah, this ball comes up to the left there. Remember, it's Cade Mays, not the starting center, Trey Hill. And watch, watch Williams come up and hit Fromm right there in the head. How about third and 27, Doctor? Let's get back in field goal range from the 35. Throw to Cager. It's caught at the 30. 19.04. Not sure what the playoff committee looked like back in 19.04, but probably was different. Here's Fromm to throw. And airmails it over the head of Dominic Blaylock. You, you got to have receivers that can separate. And you have Blaylock there. He's not separating. In the middle of the field. Um, silver bullets on the road. Hashtag res respect the specs. Here's Fromm. Exactly. Reese, just as you suggested, get a big play to Cager for 30 yards. Take and Lawrence Cager. It's not man-to-man. -man. Instead, it's too deep and a great read from Jake Fromm to know how to throw that ball in the hole. Lose Cager. He wasn't moving that left arm at all. 24 seconds left. Here's Fromm. And Pickens went up for it with one arm. Jarvis Ware on the coverage. Yep, there's that one hand, right? We mentioned it earlier. The, the coaches yeah. are on him because all these guys want to be Odell Beckham Jr. and make the catch. Listen, this, this drives me crazy okay. with two hands. In practice, he's got to do 20 push-ups every time he goes up with a one-handed grab. Even if he makes this. And if you do go up with one, you better make the Odell Beckham Jr. catch and hang on. Here's Fromm loading up. Just too far beyond the outstretched arms of Kiaris Jackson. A little bit too far. Great effort there. Look at his layout, right? Compare that to Cam Scott on the other side. No comparison. Right. I mean, that's how you do it. You give everything and just a little bit too far. At the 26 of Mizzou. From left end zone. Looking for Pickens. Jarvis Ware on the coverage. Ware, but Ware doesn't give up. Gets back in there. Just gets a hand up. There is no face guarding. Has a great job of recovering. Second down and seven at the 44 of the Tigers. Off the play fake. Fromm completes to Pickens. And he has first down yardage. Gain of nine on the play. Was rooting for tonight. Derek is on his own. Third down and two. From end zone, knocked away. Trying to go to Eli Wolf. Tyree Gillespie broke it up. That might have been the first time Wolf's been targeted all night. It's just underthrown. Here he is right here. He's going to come out. But watch Jake Fromm. The thing that, that worries me about Jake Fromm, look, this is wide open, right? But look at his feet. He doesn't drive through with his feet on this throw, and that's why it's short. If there's one thing that, that I see with Jake Fromm that, that he can get better at, it is really working on his lower body and driving through throws. He missed for the first down. Virginia getting Pickens involved in the passing game. Jake Fromm anticipating throwing this ball out on the sideline. It's a great ball. He's got to develop this evening game. Four catches out of the backfield for 46 yards. Two to snap it. There's the clap and there's the ball. Fromm zips it in to Matt Landers. That ball comes out. And they're going to say incomplete. Wide receivers. This time Landers does a nice job finding the hole, getting the football, and he turns up field, and the ball comes out. You know, he wasn't on the same page with, with Jake Fromm in the South Carolina game, which led to a big interception in that game. So th this, is, this is what I'm talking about. It's just the consistency. Third down and nine. Bit of a low snap. Swift picks up the linebacker. And Fromm tried to squeeze it in there, and it is Kiaris Jackson. Um, pick a couple of these receivers, right? Watch Jake Fromm here now, okay? He's going to take one hitch, he's going to take two hitches, and he's waiting to confirm how Jackson is going to come out of his break. You see that? He just had to wait one more, one more second. He wasn't confident until he saw him come out of his break, but he gave him a chance. And ja George is down to their third center. Jamari Salyer is snapping. Bit of a high snap, and Fromm, the throw... Enzo, you 
could see the official had problems getting his flag out. Pick- he just needs to turn back and look for the ball. If you're not looking back for the ball and you have any contact with the receiver. Pass interference. Number eight, defense. Although it looked like Pickens, Pickens had the back of where and was pulling him toward. Snap. Keep an eye on these snaps. Trey Hill and Cade Mays, both injured tonight. From back for Pickens. Did he come up with that? He did. Touchdown, Georgia. Over where again? Just the second touchdown of the game for Georgia. We talked about Jake Fromm trying to find some confidence in these young receivers. And as a true freshman, George Pickens has the most talent of any receiver on this Georgia team. It's just the consistency of performance that Jake's looking for. That time he gives him an opportunity to go up and make a play. Touchdown catch of the night. Georgia will go for two. Attempt to make it 27 to nothing. And it's James Cook out of the backfield for the score. No cager, okay? No starting center, no backup center. We got replacements all over the field here, and all he does is raise the level of play of everybody on the field. That first to a true freshman, and then he comes back to a sophomore in Cook. Seeing these guys grow up tonight. It's like it just started with the shoulder pads and then the spikes and then then the paint. We need a Molly big board. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, Todd. Hey, but in a There's some pressure coming from Missouri. From Lost will get a man middle of the field. Who else? It's George Pickens for the hat trick. Three touchdown catches. That one for 68 and the score. Way back in the 30 yard formation. Five players in the backfield on the offense. Five yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay third down. There, he got the protection lined up. I think it's they're gonna call it right here on the on the tackle. But he got everything picked up protection-wise. He had the perfect play call to Pickens down the middle, uh, all for not. And the thing that's so impressive. I know it's a penalty and they're walking it back, but just watching him make the ball, so right. that just goes to show you the <laughs> pull your hair out with these young guys. Here's Fromm. Looking for Robertson there, and it's incomplete. Against Auburn. He was right here. He gets hit by 